Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, what is it, what is it, for the 14th, around the 14th. Keep in mind the timing is fluid, right? And this reading is not sign specific, so it may or may not be for you. This is just an energy I'm picking up on, something that is going to happen perhaps, or maybe happening, or whatever. Let's just see what we got. Well, I don't know. What do you think? What the hell? Wheel of Fortune! What the hell? Right? Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Times are changing. The wheel is spinning. This is the wheel of fate. It is a very fated time. So whatever is happening is happening for a reason. A new chapter is about to, e about to end and a new one is about to start. Now, this is also a card of karma. What goes around comes around. Keep that in mind. So this is a change of course. So something is happening. Something is happening right now. Whatever is happening is fated. So we have a fated change is happening. This is major too. So we got a major change that is happening. Something is ending and something new is beginning. This is, this is karma, destiny, and fate. So, interesting. Ooh. Wow, it's definitely a stressful change now, isn't it? It is stressful. It's, it's worrisome. It's, it may be a little bit too much. Somebody may feel like it, this is way, way too much for me. Uh, very overwhelming. We have somebody here that is... Uh, probably really unsure of where to go what to do what's happening you know scared this person is scared um very worried worried about whatever is happening worried about the next uh thing i mean what's gonna happen next definitely depressed we have somebody that is depressed I mean, I see all the blue. I was going to say feeling blue, feeling very blue. Feeling very alone. We got somebody here that is definitely not feeling good. Not feeling good about these changes that are happening. <laughs> well, when you engage yourself in things that aren't good for you, you can absolutely expect to get some sort of karma. So keep that one in mind could be dealing with a Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. This is an energy of toxicity. Unhealthy. Ego. Obsession. Somebody may be trying to control another person, and that could be why this person is feeling so overwhelmed, because they're being controlled. This is control. And this, this is like, you know, this is really sad. It is definitely sad. This is all about power and control. And we got one person that just wants to be in control, really doesn't care who they hurt. It's all about gratification. And this person over here is like really stressing out over whatever is happening. Four of Pentacles. We got somebody here that is trying to hold on. Take a look at this guy's face. He's not very nice. This is not a nice person. This is somebody that is miserable and greedy and stubborn. Absolutely. We got somebody here that is definitely obsessed. This is obsession and this is a we got somebody that is absolutely obsessed. And they're hiding something. This person, somebody is hiding something. But what are they hiding? What is this person hiding? They're causing another person a lot of worry. <sighs> what are they hiding? Well, it's a challenge. They're hiding their true feelings because the king of I mean, when a card comes out sideways, it's a challenge. We have the king of cups. And I can't say it's reversed and I can't say it's upright. This person 
is is feeling a challenge within their, themselves. I said, what are they hiding? They're hiding their true feelings. Somebody's hiding their true feelings. They're hiding their emotions. This person probably is cold. Huh. I'm going to put this back in the deck and see what happens. So, what is this person hiding? What is this person hiding? <laughs> the fool? They're, they're hiding the fact that it's time to start over? What the hell? The fool? They're hiding. The, now the fool starts a new journey and leaves all the baggage behind. So this person does not want to let something go. Foolish. We got somebody here that is absolutely foolish. One more card. Naive. They're hiding something, but that doesn't tell me what. Ten of Cups. Something in the family. Something in a relationship. Ten of Cups is about the family. And, and then the King of Cups is the, the love. Or the lack there of love. Somebody is hiding something in regards to love. Hiding the truth about love. They're hiding it because they don't want somebody to leave. They're hiding something because they don't want somebody to leave. Very, very egotistical. We have a very egotistical individual here that is unreasonable, self-centered, mean. This son of a, you know what is mean. Take a look at his face. He's ugly, very ugly. So we got somebody here that is just about power and control. Absolutely. He's hiding something because he wants to keep in control. Somebody is hiding something. Has to do with the family. It's like, it's like they want to keep this family together. Stopping somebody from moving on because this is having a fresh start. This person is obsessed with power and control, power and control. We got somebody that is obsessed with power and control. Obsessed. Definitely going to get caught. This person's going to get caught. Whatever they are hiding, the truth is going to come out. This is getting caught. Somebody is lying about something and they are going to get caught. You know, you may want to look if you think somebody is hiding some hiding something. Go look in a box somewhere. If there's a box that is somewhere, go look in that box. Somebody may be hiding things in a box. Thinking that, you know, they're going to get away with it that nobody is going to find it. They may be hiding something in a box or a crate. And this crate could have other stuff in it and you would never think to look there. Okay. Now this is getting caught. Somebody is going to get caught. Justice. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. Justice. Justice is going to be served. The truth is going to come out. I tell you what, the truth is absolutely going to come out. Rest assured, karma, karma. Somebody is going to get paid some karma for their lies and their deception. This person is obsessed with power and control. Very naive, very foolish. 
This Ten of Cups reverse. This is something. This is the end of a relationship, but this person is holding on because they don't want it to end. They're trying to control another person, which is bringing and causing another person so much stress and worry. It's like it's this is it's time for a change. This is meant to change. It's destined to change. But we got this person that is ruled by the devil, ruled by Satan, ruled by the unhealthy. This person has ad addictions and obsessions, is unreasonable, self centered, egotistical. This person could be a narcissist. This person is angry. Uh, <laughs> They've been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. But some sort of justice is going to prevail. Okay? Some, some sort of truth is going to come out here. The Empress. Couldn't get any better than that if I didn't say so myself. So the Empress. The Empress is a giver of life. She is a mother. She's tender. She's loving. She's compassionate. She's ruled by Venus. She, she's uh, attractive. She's a beautiful soul. She's, she has a lot of life experience. She knows her value. She nurtures everything. She, she's, she glows. Everybody loves her because of her energy. She has a very positive energy because she gives to others unconditionally. She is unconditional love. So somebody is going to get caught by the law. The law could be coming in. Just saying. The law could be coming in. They could be coming to somebody's home. Because this could be a home. Somebody may, may think that they are golden. They may think that they have nothing to worry about. This person over here. Nine of wheels, nine of pentacles reversed. This person um, has no grace. This person is insecure. This person has no stability. This person isn't stable. This person isn't stable. This person isn't secure. Somebody could be experiencing a loss of some sort with the nine of pentacles reversed. They've been hiding probably the truth with this seven of swords. They've been hiding the truth. And it's like they're going to get caught because the seven of swords is reversed with the dead justice card. Somebody's definitely going to get caught. Something could be revealed. I don't know. This could be a mother or a wife. Two of Wands reversed. We have two people butting heads here. We do. We have two people butting heads. But this is... Um, I think somebody is going to make a choice or they're going to make some sort of decision. Let me focus this in for y'all. The, the Two of Wands reversed. It's like crossing that barrier. Crossing that bridge. Somebody has been um, trying to delay with the Two of Wands. They've been trying to delay something or they have been delaying justice. Okay. Justice has been delayed. Because somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Oh God, we definitely have somebody who hasn't been telling the truth. Oh my God, we got somebody who he here that um, is a liar, okay? A big, 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 big liar. And um, they are obsessed with control. They are obsessed with power and control. This is a card. This is, this is about power. The Ace of Swords is, is about power as well. It's like they want, they do, they do not want to relinquish power and control. And they want to hold on to the power and control at all costs. The hangman reversed. But something is going to change. Somebody's about to get some sort of wake-up call. I think they are. 
I think that whatever this person has been hanging on to, holding on to, it is going to be released. There's going to be some sort of release. There's going to be some sort of uh, takeaway. There's, you know what I mean? Because this is like the end of sacrifice. Yeah, somebody may, be, may have been stalling. They may have delayed the truth from com justice from being ser served. They may have delayed an outcome. They may have been able to put up a barrier. They may have gotten away with something for a minute. But it isn't not for long. Not for long. Somebody's, something is about to be cut loose. Something is. Knight of Swords, somebody is definitely dealing with an untrustworthy individual who doesn't care who they hurt. They don't care who they hurt at all. Could be dealing with Capricorn, a Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Four of Swords, now this is the death of an idea. Or a death of a person. Something is, is needing to end. Somebody, this person is absolutely overwhelmed, exhausted, just wants it to end. I just, I just need a break. I, I need solace. Somebody really, really needs a break. But they're, they're being so manipulated and controlled that it's sickening. It really, it really is sickening. It is absolutely sickening. We got somebody here that is so tricky and cunning and crafty <laughs> that it's like they're pulling the wool over, see the wool here? They're pulling the wool over everybody's eyes, but they're going to get caught. They're absolutely going to get caught. A three of pentacles. Now this is working together. Somebody may be working together with another person to bring another person down to keep control. This could be, you know... A few people working together to keep somebody in control. They don't care who they hurt. They really, really don't. We hey, we have a we have a massive liar in this pile. Okay, magician reversed. The ace of swords reversed. The seven of swords reversed. We got a massive liar. Justice here. Justice. Somebody's. The truth is gonna. The truth is gonna come out very, 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 very soon. Somebody. And, and it has. To, and I don't know. This empress is. This empress is probably. She's right next to the justice card. So I'm thinking this empress may have something to do, or it could be Venus energy because, you know, it just. It could be. Okay. But we have. We have something being revealed. It's like the truth is being revealed. Okay. With this empress. So it could be. Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Libra, okay? So I'm not sure if it is a Taurus or a Libra, but or a mother or a wife that is revealing the truth. Some, It's like a, a decision is going to be made. It's going to be made in favor of the mother. I don't know. We can only hope and pray. But anyhow, um, but this is a decision being made. based on the facts based on the truth ten of pentacles reversed this definitely has to do with a family situation this could be the end of a family legacy this could be severing ties with a family situation there could be family feuds going on this could have to do with a family feud this is a family feud um but this is the end of something that at one time was a happy family. But it doesn't appear that it is. Any, somebody could be filing for divorce or for legal action. This could be a divorce. Somebody is headed towards happiness freedom they are headed toward freedom they are somebody is going to be broken free with the hangman reversed 
the fool in this card there is somebody has been tied down by a toxic unhealthy situation where they were manipulated and controlled to a very high extent but justice is about to come in and and it's going to help some it's going to break somebody free and lead them them to a very happy place it's going to lead them to healing and happiness and balance and harmony and love This is the end of a stressful situation. This is an end. It is. The Four of Swords. It is. And this is the end of a stressful... We're about to have an end to a stressful situation of manipulation and control. And this is not just a little bit either. This is high-end manipulation and control. Freedom, liberation, ten of swords reversed. This person ain't dead yet. And they're getting up. And they're about ready to fight. And they're going to walk away. So we have a lot of tens here. So this is a completion of a cycle. Where somebody has been manipulated and controlled by a person that is narcissistic. May have been two people or three people. A group of people. But there is about to be the birth of a new life here. After all this pain and all this suffering. There is going to be a birth. There's going to be a delivery. Somebody is going to receive a reward. They are going to receive a, 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 a reward, a delivery. For dealing with the pain. Somebody could be getting pregnant. Or they could be delivering a baby. There could be a, a child here that is being delivered. Or getting pregnant or something like that. I feel like this is the end of a stressful situation. Somebody's going to get caught in their lies. We do have a new beginning here with that fool card. No matter what, we have a new beginning here. But it is after a loss with a nine of, nine of pentacles reversed. There's going to be a change in the family dynamics with the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Those are both in the family, a relationship. There's going to be a change in the, in the family legacy dynamic situation. This is karma and justice being served, the truth being told, the truth coming out. Whatever somebody has been hiding... It's, it's going to be revealed. It is going to be revealed. I guess I don't got nothing else to say. Be prepared for some sort of reveal. Okay? Whoever has been lying is about to get caught. Good luck.